Hello everybody and welcome to another Platform 32 live stream. Uh, give me two seconds to refresh this and make sure you guys can hear me and then we'll get going. Uh, yep, yep, all good, I can hear myself. So, hello, hope you have all had a good weekend. Uh, today's live stream is going to be on Spec Ops The Line, which is due out in the UK tomorrow, uh, no, tomorrow, Friday. Uh, I think it's just been released in America today. Uh, I've spent the last week or so playing it. I've completed the campaign, and uh, I've been playing a little bit of the multiplayer. Uh, so today's live stream, uh, I'm going to play one of the earlier levels, so none of the, like, the, there's not going to be many spoilers, because there's a few cool twists in this game. Uh, and then I'm going to try and jump online, and hopefully... Uh, find a couple of people to have a match with because I've been really enjoying the online portion of this game um, so yeah I'd like to demonstrate that to you it's got some cool little uh, twists uh, some cool little good uh, in ingenuity oh, I don't know the word it's got some good bits in the multiplayer that I like um, so I'd like to show you guys that uh, also, nearing the end of the live stream, I'm going to give you guys a chance to win one of these Spec Ops The Line t-shirts. Now, they're pretty big. Like, both of them that I've got to give away, they're on the, uh, on the super large size. It says they're large, but they're gigantic, so you might be able to use them as, like, a tent or something to sleep in. Unless you are of a, be a, a bigger frame, and then it will fit perfectly. But um, it's a bit too baggy for me. But I've got two to give away, and they're straight from E3. This year's uh, E3 2012. Um, so you'll be, uh, yeah, given you'll be uh, winning an exclusive E3 2012 Spec Ops Align T-shirt. I've got Dean Get Your Wings watching and Far Cry Universe watching. Hi. Hi guys, six people watching at the moment, which is probably actually more than I thought would be watching uh, at this time of the day. I don't normally do live streams at this time of the day, because uh, generally most people in the UK are at work, <coughs> or at school, but uh, uh, the embargo for the game has lifted today, so reviews should be hitting the internet pretty soon. Uh, so this is, I've played it through, so you're going to be hearing my opinions, think of this as a, as a review. Uh, but a live review, um, and you'll get to see some gameplay as well. Um, I'm Ian Higton, just in case you didn't know. Uh, I've just got out of the shower, so uh, I, I, that's why I was about 30 seconds late on. Um, uh, please follow me on Twitter here uh, for my personal tweets, and follow Platform32 for the show updates. Uh, I've, uh, I've got lots and lots of videos incoming, uh, about 15 or so E3 interviews to do, and uh, maybe some uh, more competitions, because the Hawker one was quite popular. Uh, um, so yeah, some little giveaways, definitely. But anyway, let's get on with the game. Let me just change some stuff around here. So yes, yeah, Spec Ops The Line. Uh, is going to be played today. Uh, let me get. Oh wait, it's a black screen at the moment on my Xbox. So let me just wait for it to load before I put the gameplay in. Let's see who's um, who's watching now. Pegasus says hi there. Thought I'd missed this. Uh, no, you've got it. It's right now. Um, Pasky boy says he thought he'd missed another one. Ha ha ha. He would not have been happy. And uh, Honest Xbox Review, just been playing my copy, not bad at all, he says. Um, and I agree, I've really, uh, really enjoyed playing this. Um, here we go. Actually, let's put this one in. So, yes, we're going to be playing Spec Ops Align. It's by Jaeger Development, and it's published by 2K Games. It's out on the Xbox 360, the PS3, and the PC, I believe, today in America. And... Uh, on the 29th of this month, which is this Friday in the UK. So definitely make sure you get uh, a copy if this interests you. Um, if this uh, Let's Play makes you interested. Right, let's get my headphones on so I can hear what's going on. Um, yes, so we go starting on a uh, on a um, kind of ruined American flag. The game is set in Dubai. And you play some American soldiers going in to rescue, to evacuate uh, citizens of Dubai after it kind of 
got closed off by a huge sandstorm. Um, and it's called the line because during the game, the soldier, the character you play, and his uh, comrades that follow him, uh, they see some pretty dark stuff and some pretty kind of nasty thing some nasty things happen which causes them to kind of cross the line a little bit um, I'm not going to go too deep into it into that story aspect because um, there are some like crazy kind of twists and some kind of like ooh moments in there but uh, yeah you're kind of if you've played the demo which is free to download you'll know that it's all a, a kind of like a big sandy landscape, ruined buildings and, and stuff. So I completed the game. Um, there are, I think... Oh, let's find out, see if I can remember. Uh, a total of... Doo -doo -doo, uh, 15 chapters, plus a little epilogue. So lots of stuff. Lots of stuff to do. It took me quite a few hours to get through. It's a long game. I played through on the like normal difficulty, and that was, it was quite challenging. I don't think I made it through a level without dying. So, um, uh, the harder levels, the harder difficulties will obviously add a little bit more time to your play. Uh, what should I play? Let's play. Let's play the edge. Um, which is one of the levels that was featured in the demo. It was a very long demo and a very good demo. Um, I enjoyed it and it got my interest in this game up really high. So um, I definitely recommend you download the demo and give it a try if you've not already after you've watched this. Just thinking about our next move. It's Nolan North, voice in that, friend of Platform 32. He thinks he thinks the show's awesome. It came from his mouth, not mine. Well, it also came from my mouth just then. Yeah. It's a, he's on video saying it on the channel. So yeah. CIA's been here for God knows how long trying to clean it up. Long enough to know everything that's going on. Dean Get Your Wings says, yes, he played the demo. A bit bleak is the landscape, but I think that's what they were aiming for. Yes, it's it's a deserted city with a smattering of refugees covered in dust and stuff and sand. It's definitely um, definitely the, the bleak landscape is what they were going for. Uh, again, please let me know if you'd like the game volume louder or me quieter or both louder or whatever. Um, uh, I'd appreciate your input uh, so you guys can enjoy this. Let's play as much as possible. Phew, almost missed it, said Mongolian Ape. Hi! Uh, yeah, he's here just in time for the start of it. This will be about... I'm going to say this will be about an hour, hour and a half long. What I want to do is play a level or two, go through the mechanics of the game, and then try and get a multiplayer match going. So if any uh, journalists are watching that have a copy of the game and fancy playing on this live stream, uh, or perhaps even any of the developers, because I saw one of the 2K PR girls uh, following me just after I announced this live stream was going ahead. So if there's anyone who fancies joining in on the live stream um, in the multiplayer later... Um, to be fair though, hopefully the multiplayer... Hopefully the um, numbers on the multiplayer will rise, because it's just going on sale in the US, I guess. But anyway, yeah. I'll try and get a multiplayer match going in a bit. So here we go. This is the bleak landscape that Dean Get Your Wings was talking about. Um, very beautiful graphics. They've got some great sand and dust effects, uh, which I really liked. You'd think this would maybe make a good co-op game. In a way, I'm glad they didn't make it a co-op game. Uh, it's a good story. Um, we're trying to find... Uh, a CIA operative at the moment. Some of your guns have got attachments. Uh, bottom right you can see I'm using an M4A1. If I press up on my D-pad I can attach a silencer. So I can uh, use stealthy kills, etc. Uh, i got some good good use of zip lines. Uh, they've also used in the multiplayer quite a lot, which is good. Um, I think this is quite funny. If I stand here and don't and get in the way. Get out no! Yay! Hey, kick me in the nuts. Go, do it again. Oh! Nut shot. 
So that's quite fun. They say, get out of the way! So... So you, anyone who's played the demo will be familiar with this bit for now. Uh, I really like the cover system in this game. Um, I get I get annoyed by a lot of games' cover systems. Uh, they don't seem to work too well, but this game's great. Um, although I did try it then twice and it didn't work. Fuck it. Um, you use A to run, to a kind of roadie run, a la Gears of War. Um, and you also use A to get into cover, but it's pretty easy to kind of slide into cover. A lot of games with cover systems, I kind of... Oh, what the fuck is that? Sorry, guys. Let me uh, get rid of that. I don't know why that's popped up there. That is not part of the game. Shut up! Why are you there? I, I apologise, I don't know why that popped up there. I apologise for that, everybody. I didn't even notice that was going on. In the face! I don't really know why that appeared, because I did not put in any headphones. My PC isn't the best. I think there's a ghost living in it. So let's try and get into some cover. You can press A and he kind of slides into cover if you get into... if you press A from distance. Uh, sometimes he does this cool, like, slide in. Headshots uh, take people down pretty quick. This is one of those games where you don't have to hammer people with bullets all the time, except for the heavy bad guys, which they have occasionally. Uh, most people will go down one shot to the head, or a couple of shots to the body. It does a kind of nice little slow-mo thing every so often when you shoot someone in the head. It kind of slows people speaking down, so they're all like... Are you running this off a of Mac, says Dean, get your wings? No, I'm, I'm running it off a of PC. Um... Yeah, so it's it's one of those basic kind of cover-based shooter games. And um, what I'd, I kinda, do you know what I like about this game is that it's kind of basic. It doesn't try and do anything other than be like a, a gory cover-based shooter. Um, it's nice. It just sticks to what it's meant to be doing, and it does it well. Uh, your mixer is in the way, Ian. It's Mongolian ape. Yeah, dope. Uh, I'm so going to get this game. What's this I hear about Nyla North joining the stream? Uh, no, Nyla North isn't joining the stream, uh, unfortunately. Mongolian Ape. Actually, it's my name. In your opinion, is this game as good or better than the games? This will no doubt be compared to Battlefield 3 or Modern Warfare 3. Uh, I wouldn't compare it to Battlefield 3 or Modern Warfare 3. Um, I'd more compare it to... Um, like things like Gears and stuff like cover based shooters you got you got to use a bit of flanking you can also command your troops to oh shit grenade run away using the rb you can command your uh, guys to like target people uh, i didn't find that i didn't find that very useful though they they, they often don't kind of really do oh shit grenade again run away there you go, that was a good slide into cover there. You can order them to stun grenades as well, but I don't know. Squad kind of management didn't really work great in terms of adding to the gameplay in this. Um, I often just lone gunned it and let those guys get on with it. Um, but it's... Do you know what? No, Nolan North isn't joining the stream. I wish you would. That'd be great. If you're watching Nolan North and you want to join the stream, please do. Do you think this would be good in first-person shooter or is it better as a third-person game? I normally prefer first-person shooter games, but um, I, this is perfectly fine as a third-person shooter game. Um, it's kind of adds to it a bit because as you go as you go through the game a lot of stuff like happens and you guys your character Walker gets uh, gets a lot of beatings and uh, you can see oh sorry I hit my mic as the game progresses the damage on the character model getting more and more and uh, you can kind of see uh, the uh, the effects all this is having on him. Now his squad mates down. I can heal him. I hit my mic again. Sorry. I can heal him, or I can get um, my friend uh, to heal him. Uh, what are their names? Lugo and Adams. Um, you can get them to heal him, but 
It doesn't. Uh, when that first happened, I thought, "Oh fuck, this is going to be one of those games where I'm constantly babysitting my characters." But they don't die too often. Uh, they can't revive you though. If you die, you're dead. It's a bit unfair. It's like, why do I have to? Un un uh, why do I have to revive these guys and do all the hard work when they don't? Uh, but you get used to that as well. A little bit of repelling, crazy rope animations there. Um, so I made it through that bit without too much trouble. Oh yep, got snipers. Clicking in the left stick will crouch me. Or you. Um, sniper rifle. Yeah, sniper rifle. Okay. What guns have I got? Oh yeah, get rid of the UMP. The cover of Gears meets 50 cents blood in the sands. Uh, cover feel of Gears meets 50 cent blood in the sands says on this Xbox review. And honestly, he's completely right. Let's <laughs> see what I did there. Um, yeah, I totally agree. Here we go. In the face. Let's take down some snipers on the rooftops. Let's get Lugo to target that guy. I'll get that guy. And this guy. Honest Xbox review. If you're uh, up for playing some multiplayer live in a bit, um, stay watching the stream and I'll join a chaos deathmatch mode and then you can jump in uh, get some live stream action on the go Let's cross over. Move fast, stay low. so I snipe the shit out of these guys Hilo oh he's too quick right no oh god run me I was trying to be clever no, failed get up Getting to cover now! Okay, sweet. So we're in cover. Uh, basically been ambushed. Ambushed? We've been ambushed by some guys in a chopper. Oh, shoot them in the legs. Guy in the face. Is that? That's Lugo, isn't it? Yeah. Um, it's the same kind... It's the same kind of game you'll have played like many times before. You move to a new zone, you shoot people. Move to a new zone, shoot some more people, watch a cutscene, shoot some more people. But it's it's done in a really w good, fun, interesting way. Um, and uh, kind of blowing my review already by saying that it's really good and I, I definitely recommend you picking it up. Um, what I will say about the game is that it does get a bit samey. Uh, there was a few times where I felt like I was just going through the motions. Um, if you like it, sorry. If you like a lot of variety to games, you won't find too much here. There's a, a couple of missions where you're piloting a minigun on a helicopter, but it doesn't last very long. Uh, each one doesn't, either one doesn't last very long. Uh, the majority of the game you're on foot, moving from cover to cover, shooting bad guys. Which, uh, you know, it's really well done and it's fun. It just uh, sometimes can get a bit tedious, but overall, it's definitely uh, definitely worth picking up in my opinion. I like the uh, I like the graphics, it's all sandy and brown and whatnot, but there are some colourful points yeah, in general. It's pretty nice. It doesn't shy away from what it is and instead of adding stupid gimmicks it focuses more on gameplay and story. Question mark, says Dean Get Your Wings. That's it. That's exactly, yes, exactly right. That's exactly what I was trying to say. Um, I would have said if my grasp of English wasn't retarded. Yeah, run in. Yeah, Dean Get Your Wings has got that spot on. I'm always a fan of stories, good stories in games, and this has definitely got a good story. Uh, it's a dark story, and there's a, it's very um, a sh there's some shocking moments in it uh, for sure that will um, down. make you feel a little bit like, Ooh. but that's good. A, a story in a game that affects you is um, 
far better than a story in a game like Call of Duty, which just kind of drifts by you without you even knowing it's going on. Like Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, I played that game and I didn't even know what was going on with the storyline. It's just like, hmm, hmm, hmm. Like, shoot some guys, do some stuff, <laughs> explosions. This actually, you know, you do get to know the characters. And uh, you do see some things that make you think, whoa, fuck. Oh shit, I shot Adams with my sniper rifle. Sorry, Adams. Um, so that is a massive plus point that it's an actual entertaining, involving storyline. Which helps you get past the kind of, the, the dull, repetitive action moments. But it's not all dull and repetitive. I guess it's fun to play. Who's shoot Where's the, where are these guys shooting at? Oh, there. You chuck a grenade at this guy, that's a flashbang. Oh, I'll, st I'll stun him and go melee him. Oh, I'll stun myself. Oh! Melee! Haha. <laughs> and you can execute people as well. Isn't that a friendly thing friendly thing to do, I guess? We keep moving. But you're not being you're not you're not paid to be friendly in the army. You're probably not paid to shoot people in the knee and then shoot people in the head, which is one of the more gory execution moves, but probably something against the Geneva Convention. Something in the Geneva Convention that's against that. Maybe. I don't know. Just gibbering now. Mongolian ape likes the st steer. I can't. I don't know if I pronounce that. Scout the the sniper sniper rifle. He says steer make good weapons. Um, so he's glad he's got that in the game. And Dean, get your wing. Says you'll love Max Three Pain Three. Then if you haven't played it yet, uh, it's an excellent game. I still haven't played it. I haven't had time. Pretty much came out while I was doing E3 prep, and uh, I never got sent a review copy. And uh oh, oh no! We were on glass all along. Wah 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 wah! Oh yeah, what a great gun to be st stuck with up high. A shotty. You got regenerating health. Oh god, there's a knife guy. He's gonna kill me. There's only only occasionally these kind of crazy knife guys turn up and they just like kamikaze right at you and try and knife you in the face. Oh, I've got no ammo in my other gun, that's why. Get this UMP up. I love the soundtrack on this game. This game is massively, in my opinion, massively influenced by Apocalypse Now. It's the same kind of crazy war, soldiers, war vets going crazy and stuff. There's, I don't like. There's even, and I, this isn't a spoiler because that it happens in the uh, in the demo where you see him and we hear him in the demo. There's a crazy like radio disc jockey guy, like. Journalist guy like um, Dennis Hopper's character. Is it Dennis Hopper in Apocalypse Now? But yeah, this is a very Apocalypse Now feel game. Ha ha, Granada! Where did that guy come from? And uh, the kind of like crazy 60s ish music helps add to that atmosphere. This one up there. And then there. Uh, need some more range. That's better. Got pretty good at this game, I think. Hostile down! Throw it back! Shit. Trying to flank me.
Run away! What the? Lugo, that was the worst cover ever, you douche. The horror, the horror! <laughs> nice. That's from Ashi My Name, is, is my name, quoting some game, uh, some film. Some apocalypse now. Um, a recap of Max Payne 3. Shoot, cutscene, cutscene, shoot, cutscene, cutscene, shoot, shoot. Yeah, that's kind of like this game. More zip lines. Gotta love a zip line. Woo! Sorry, I'm not talking too much when I'm playing the action bits. That's a good sign. If I if if it stops me from talking while I'm playing the game, then uh, it's got to be some good action scenes. Through the building. So I think this bit is not in the demo now. Dean Get Your Wings says they were great cutscenes that dragged you further into the story and the lore of Max Payne. Cool. Well, this is the same here. Uh, the cutscenes here um, also uh, add a hell of lots of story. Now, if I hadn't have played this game already, around here would have been a pickup. There's only a couple of pickups each level. Uh, every game's got to have some pickups, haven't they? To work, to work towards achievements and trophies. There's one up there. I don't know where everyone's gone. Oh, they've gone into the liar's lair. Um, Apocalypse Now was great. It showed the true chaos of war, unlike other movies of the time that pretty much said, oh yeah, war is fun, people don't die. It was genius. Um, Mongolian 8, that's exactly what you could say about this game compared to Call of Duty. Exactly what you could say about this game compared to Call of Duty. Kick of that door. This definitely shows the effects, the psychological effects that war can have on people uh, rather than just the physical effects which you'd get in a game like Call of Duty or Battlefield where they're just Let's nameless soldiers go derp 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 I'm a soldier derp this game uh, definitely make you think Jesus Christ how would that how would I deal with something like that Bye, Walker. This bit reminds me of um, the game whose name I can't remember. Shit, the Ubisoft game where you climb and stuff, and it was a downloadable game. Oh, I'm so rubbish today. I reviewed it. It reminds me of that game anyway. Who the fuck builds a city that would even have even a small chance of having this kind of natural disaster? Really smart guys, really smart. Well, Dubai is a real city um, in the desert, but I, I think the natural disaster here is... I don't think it's likely to happen. I think this is a bit of a fictional natural disaster. So I don't think it could happen. So here we go, this is the next level. This is chapter six where I've fallen Walker's fallen down a hole and he's now on his own for a little bit. It's Desert Eagle that guy in the face. And see if I can't pick up some extra weapons. I thought there was a gun there, no? No. A deagle to the head. I blew that guy's head right off with a deagle there. Unlucky, no face. You, no face. Come on. Oh no! Shot him in the shoulder. This guy's trying to get me. In the face. Of course. Ah, oh, that guy's face shot off and his hat went flying, which is cool. I have no ammo now. I need a gun. Do I sound okay? Get your asses down here. Come on guys, hurry up. Give Nolan North some backup. Shit, that's close. Ah, oh, I died. Boo. Come on. Come on. <laughs> My girlfriend's bringing me a coffee. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> she got shy. 
Oh, I needed a coffee. Thanks. <laughs> Silent Hill downpour? Question mark says Mongolian ape. Uh, no, it was I am alive. That was Dean Get Your Wings who got that one right. So thank you very much, Dean Get Your Wings. Also thanks for the guest Mongolian ape. But yes, I'm alive. I've not played Silent Hill downpour uh, yet. I'd, um, anyone know if it's any good? I liked a lot of the Silent Hill games, except for um, Homecoming. Oh, that was pretty shit. In the head. In the head. I hear loads of. If you guys, can you guys hear any? Is there any echo on the order or not? I've just noticed. I've got my. Uh, I've just realised why that headphones thing came on earlier. It's because my speakers turned themselves on on my PC. Oh shit! I'm screwed now. Do I sound okay? Ah, don't crouch, idiot. I need a, I need a gun really quick. Uh, bad guys don't drop their guns until you've executed. Uh, if they're on the floor going, you need to execute them before they drop their guns. Oh, there was a gun there. There's a shotty. Like that. Okay, pendejo. You can shoot, you can uh, blind fire. Seems pretty accurate. Shotgun does a good deal of damage. Nice. All the weapons are nice in this game. In the face! No, Silent Hill Downpour is dot dot dot. Just to watch the video from the guys of the switcher, they did a full playthrough. Not good then, ah, oh, that's a pity. I was looking forward to that one. Come on, Lugo! Oh, sh <laughs> that guy fell over. Wow, that was close. Um, looks like my guys are back. Yep, yeah, they are, they've caught up with me. Excellent work. Cheers, chaps! What the hell took you so long? Unlucky baby. Execute that guy as well for a for effect. What? He's fine, hmm. Adams. So am I. No need to get worked up. Let me just scroll this down. I know. I know. You gotta lock on the signal. Go. Just turn those speakers off over here. Yeah. We're close. <laughs> Two seconds. Then let's move. Ah. <laughs> Very impressed with this so far. Good quality. I guess that explains the delayed release as Ash is my name. Um, yeah, it's it's a really good game. Like it, it doesn't set out to be like do anything amazing, except for tell a good story and have like some damn good shootouts. Um, it's one of the funner games I've played this year. The, if you guys have been like following. Like, well, I know most of you guys watching at the moment. Oh, shit balls! Died. I know most of you guys watching uh, have been following the show for quite a long time. You'll know that this year I haven't been that. Po I haven't been very positive about a lot of the games that have been released this year. I don't think this year's been a very good year for games so far. But I'm, uh, I'm, I'm like, I like this game a lot. Um, and uh, yeah, I definitely recommend recommend you pick it up. Um, I, don't <laughs> I don't know if any of you guys watched my um, Steel Battalion live stream, but that game has been getting some appalling reviews. Um, if you look on Metacritic for Steel Battalion, you'll see uh, pretty much all of my uh, all of my opinions from my live stream that I mentioned in my live stream have been echoed in the majority of the mainstream press's uh, reviews. Uh, I was looking forward to that, but yeah, it got a, it got a shit kicking. Got a sticky grenade! Yay! You pick up different Got kinds of gr grenades as you go. Get up before they come um, back up. Sticky grenades are always good fun for tagging people. I'll see if I can tag someone in a second. I'll see if I can tag someone now. Um, you can't see because my head's in the way. 
Well done. Let me see if I can move this quickly. Move it up here. Uh, down the bottom now, uh, you can see that red thing switching. That's me switching between gear grenades. Uh, you can get a flashbang and also a C4, I think. I think. I've never used it, but I swear I picked up some seed for. Oh, big gun. So here's where maybe I could tell one of my guys to get that guy. He's throwing a grenade at him. You got him. Nice. Got a little star, and now my head is in the way of the achievement trackers at the top there. Battle management. You just might have seen click up. Uh, you obviously get achievements and trophies in this game. Uh, um, a lot of them are for killing a certain amount of... Ooh dear, a bit glitchy get there. Get out of that box, Adams. Um, a lot of them are for progressing through the storyline, and there's others for killing certain amounts of people with certain guns, and then there's one for uh, battle management, which is telling your troops to sh shoot uh, specific people. Oh god. I'm, uh, I'm having a battle fail at the moment. I was doing so well in that last level. What are you shooting at, Adams? Oh, there. I thought maybe that container had pissed him off or something. Steel Battalion should be ported for PC and webcam. Yeah, that might be a good idea. Although, uh, just all the controls are too close Adam, together. It just, it. just makes made it very hard to uh, do anything like... Shit. What is it? With any accuracy. Actually, it's Modern UK. Then again, come to think of it, releasing this game in the same month as Modern Warfare 3 didn't make sense, so summer release works better. Oh, was it originally planned for... Um, I didn't realise it was originally planned to release at the same time as Modern Warfare 3. Nah, that would have killed this. Um, as it is, there's not many games out this month at all. Very quiet for games, which is good, because it means... It's easier for me to edit all my interviews. Um, did you guys uh, see my Far Cry 3 interview, by the way? The one where I got Vass, the actor who plays Vass, to give uh, Platform 32 a little bit of a intro shout-out thing? I was wild chuffed about that. That uh, made my day, that did. I think that character, I think the Vass character's amazing. And, um, I'm so like, happy that he agreed to do that for me. Um, if you haven't, just you know, check out the beginning of my Far Cry 3 interview with Dan Hay. It's really cool. Shooty shoots! So you can man turrets occasionally, which are all good. Uh So this is where we first start to see a little bit of the horrors of war. We've entered a pit. Which is full of dead bodies. Burnt, rotten, unceremoniously piled against the walls. Hundreds of bodies. People lined up and executed. Get ready, they'll be waiting. Mongolian Nate and Dean Get Your Wings have just come back. Hello, guys. What time is it? This time flies when you there play good no games. Here. Captain, top of the stairs. I see it. We're already 40 minutes in.
This is Daniels. He's been dead a long time. So, this is probably the guy we were trying to find. We've been set up. Grim. What the hell's going on, Lugo? No fucking clue. Whoa, ain't back. Identify yourself. Me? Who the hell are you? Captain, go fuck yourself. <laughs> well, now, Captain. This little trap. So, what have we got? We've got six people watching at the moment. But you ain't gold. So, that is. I don't know who you are. No one a does. one in dangerous. Dangerous to who? three chance Everyone. of winning a t-shirt. I think I'm gonna I mean, come on. You didn't start doing it. We just let you I think I've played enough of this sing of the single player match yeah, now. We did. A single player match. Single player campaign. Um, I don't really want to. It's starting to get into quite heavy spoiler territory now. I think so. I'm gonna quit that there. Um, so campaign wise. Um, a nice long campaign, very good story. Uh, it's an it's an enjoyable game. Weapons good, combat's good, cover mechanics work very well. Um, can get quite repetitive, but thanks to the good story and the just general kind of polished feeling of the game, you overlook that. Um, and uh, yeah, it's an enjoyable ride all the way through with some like really good twists and some like moments that will really make you go oh so um yeah if you're uh if you're 18 then uh i definitely re recommend picking the game up it's um yeah definite definitely uh pick this game up if you like shooters if you like modern shooters um pick it up uh especially pick it up if you like games with uh good stories. So now we're going to try the multiplayer mode. Um, hopefully this won't lag my uh, my feed, my live stream feed. Drink my coffee in my, my Pac-Man mug. Um, let's go through the multiplayer stuff a little bit first. Actually, yeah. Yeah, we do. <laughs> uh, I don't want to be waiting in a, in a lobby for very long. Okay, so here we go. Sorry. Totally, completely threw myself there. Uh, let's have a quick look in the headquarters so you can edit your loadouts. Um, there's different kinds of uh, guys. Uh, exiles. Um, here, Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta. Um, Alpha's like Assault. Bravo's um, Close Quarters. Charlie's Shotgun. And Delta snipers, but I think you can um, edit their classes so they can be medics. Because basically, the gunners and the medics all have different kind of um, perks, like the breacher, which is the shotgun guy, but sounds like some kind of weird birth thing. Uh, he's got 10% increased explosive damage and can carry double the amount of grenades. I've been playing as the gunner who gets. 20% damage increase for self and teammates within 15 meters so stand close to me and you'll get 20% extra damage um, and I take 20% less damage which is good because I'm a bullet magnet normally um, you can um, there's not really much weapon customization you can't like add scopes and things as far as I've seen so far uh, but you can unlock all these different guns at different ranks uh, SMGs, shotguns. Uh, weirdly, you pretty much unlock every shotgun uh, really early on. Um, and then snipers. And then you get different armors. And then kit. Um, get different kind of kit, different helmets and stuff. That helmet looks kind of cool. Um, the Mosca Amarilla. It's got like some kind of looks like a motorbike helmet. Um, uh, you can unlock armor colors. I've gone for solar flare, which will probably make me a bullet magnet. Um, so yeah, there's a bit of customization. Definitely not in the kind of customization levels as like kind of Call of Duty or anything. You can uh, there's titles that you can unlock. I don't really know how you unlock any of these things. I guess it's through some kind of stat. 
Uh, I've put myself a specialist. And you can unlock badges as well. I don't know how you unlock the badges either. Uh, there's loads of badges. Um, all I've managed to unlock is that one. Uh, this one, the flowers, the little daisies, or well, not da daisies are yellow. Uh, the little flowers is the one you get when you start. Um, so I don't, I've been playing for a few matches, not unlocked any other badges, and it doesn't tell you how to unlock them or anything, as far as I know. Uh, but yeah, let's go quick match. So core cool matches are rebel or obe uh, rebel or obey in playlists set with a standard rule set or rebel or obey in playlists with unique rules. I've not really dived too far into any of this. I've just played Cole and I've played matches on Chaos which is a uh, standard team deathmatch. Uh, Mutiny is team deathmatch but not many people online at the moment so I have not played team deathmatch. Buried. Destroy all the enemy vital points. Um, so I've not played Buried. Combat is a mix and match and objectives, objective based. I'm just going to play Chaos. Uh, Deathmatch. That'll do me. Sorry, I had to go back to the coffee maker. Did you know that pressing the on button makes it work? Well, the coffee button, the coffee maker, I didn't know that. Oh, it's found a game. Excellent. That's not happened so far. So maybe people in America are finally picking up the game. Maybe it's finally on sale. Uh, if anyone does fancy joining me, any journalists watching, if if there are any, uh, or or anyone who's got the game a day early or so, uh, then uh, I'm going online now in a chaos match. I'll play as the alpha guy. Chaos. How many people are playing? Uh, not many. Gooch one o two five and Destroyer were playing earlier, and they're both quite highly ranked. I have a feeling they might be developers. I don't know who bloody hell 666 is. Uh, right, so here we go. The maps are all very... Uh, I, well, I'm, I'm running really fast. The I don't, I'm, everyone's like sprinting really fast. That didn't, Oh god. <laughs> I don't know what's happened. I think I might have joined some kind of like freak show match. Oh dear. Duff. WTF? I don't know what's going on here. Like I'm actually like legging it really fast. I've I've entered some kind of crazy match. This isn't what the multiplayer's normally like. I'm not sure what's going on. I can't believe that this game has been hacked already. So maybe I've joined a match. Like, maybe you can customise your matches and put, like, sprint always on. Uh, okay, so every so often during the matches you get sandstorms which will obscure your vision and your radar. The guy's taken so much to kill. Shot his head off and got promotion. I might quit out of this game in a minute. I don't like the fact that this is a bit random and weird. Uh, but yeah, every so often you'll get sandstorms. So outside the map you'll be... There we go. Something's happened. Someone's enabled no clip or the game's already been hacked. Um, yeah, I don't know why that. I, I That's never happened. I don't, I'm not sure what's going on. I don't know. Maybe the developers were having a little silly match with themselves or something. Let's try this again. Core. Standard rules. Chaos. Hopefully I can join a match that isn't f fucked up. Uh, while I'm waiting for this, let's get down to winning stuff. 
a t-shirt. Here's a recap. I'm in a match with Chronosphere 84. How am I rank 80 45? Alright, so I'm suddenly magically <laughs> ranked up to 45 as well. Damn you hackers. It must have been hacked. I can't. I don't know what else is going on with that. Like. What? How, how did I get 9866XP? Oh no, he didn't. That, I can't believe I just. Well, you witnessed a live hacking of an unreleased game, so. Fuck. I've unfairly leveled up to level 45. Let's see if I can change my loadouts. Oh yeah, pretty much everything. I've got loads of stuff that's unlocked now. Well, there we go. Not, not. Uh, yeah, Mongolian Apes on it already. I'm just I'm quite shocked that this game's that I've already been there. Well, I've never actually seen that happen on a Xbox game before. Uh, that happened to me once on Modern Warfare 2 on the PS3, where my rank would get increased crazy. But wow, that's weird. So anyway, Mongolian Apes says, "Give me, give me that shirt." So yeah, all you need to do to be in with the chance of winning the shirt is say GIMME! And I'll note your name down. There's two to win. I'll write your name down on here and then I'm going to pick your name out of a hat. Nice and simple but fair. So, Mongo, so I got, ni I got 9 million XP for one kill. Damn hackers, ruin that for me now. So Mongolian Ape wants to be in with a chance to win. Uh, anyone else wants a chance to win a t-shirt? Right. Gimme! And uh, I will pick your names out of a hat in a bit. Anyone who fancies any journalists or developers, if anyone's watching and wants like a game wants to join me in a game that's not hacked then uh, please uh, please join in I didn't even notice that it said that much XP for one kill fuck's sake that doesn't happen normally Dean get your wings says gimme Ashley's my name says gimme and so does T G Tiger Lily Tiger Lily. Hello there, Tiger Lily. Tiger Lily. Dean get your wings. Ashley is my name. Well, that says Ashley is my Yane. So I'll get the drift. Deathmatch, kill everyone. Okay, let's hope that I haven't been infected by some kind of hacker stuff. No, here we go. So I'm running at normal speed now. But I do have uber weapons. Oh, there's a guy behind me up there. He's down already. Challenge completed, Max. So, yes, as I was saying before, everything went really weird. Uh, is that I really like the multiplayer in this game. Uh, the maps are nice and big, uh, not too big, but there's a lot of space to run around, lots of places to hide, loads of places to take cover. They're all multi-leveled, so there's lots of chances to shoot up, shoot down, um, and they have a very liberal use of zip lines. Not too many on this map, I don't think, but... Um, a nice long zip line. You can't shoot while on the zip line, so you've really got to be careful when you use them. 
Um, and they also have this cool mechanic, um, sand traps basically. I don't know how many there are on this level. Um, there's a lot on other interior levels. Uh, I'll try and find some. Basically, you'll find walls and you'll find glass windows uh, which are cracked and um, if you shoot them it'll dump a shitload of sand out and uh, that sand will in the face, challenge completed, eagle eye um, the sand will look, either um, stun someone I'm just completing challenges every shot. And that guy just keeps coming back. The same place. He just, just keeps spawning in the same place. Oh, fuck. Oh. Fuck's sake. This really is a, not a good representation of this game. Someone's fucked this game for me. Fuckers. Um, sand traps, yeah. I'll try and find a sand trap. I'm really pissed off about that. Right, if they've ruined this game for me completely, then that is fucking annoying. And if they've ruined it while alive, that's even more annoying, because you guys aren't seeing how good this game can be. You're seeing a fucking hacked piece of... Here you go. See that? A bit of sand there. If someone was taking cover there, I could shoot that and it would dump loads of sand on them and that would kill them. Or if they're standing a bit closer, it may uh, stun them. But, uh... I even bolt over cover. There's another one there. So if someone was running past that, the host left the match. Yeah, I'm not surprised you left the match. <laughs> I think Ian owes the hackers a cookie. Mm. So that says Dean, get your wings. I don't know. That's rather annoying, actually. Uh, people aren't going to want to play with me if I can just, like, <laughs> if if my game is infected somehow. I don't know if that's even possible. Are you going to do a Planet Side 2 review or anything? Um, no. Well, maybe a review, but n I, um, I've got lots of Planet Side 2 dog tags which I'm going to give away in a competition, but maybe not a review. I played a little bit of it, but um, not enough. Uh, I played a little bit of it E3. I didn't manage to get an interview or anything about it, though. I'll sub. Tiger Lily, please do sub. Hello. Yes, pl definitely please sub. Right, let's try and look for one last match. Um, been on doing this stream for an hour now, so maybe time to turn it off. But yeah, multiplayer. Um, very good fun. Uh, when you haven't been hacked. Um, it's one of those games where it's only a couple of kills to kill people, uh, which I really like. I hate games where it takes loads of shots to kill someone and they can run and jump and jump and run. It's literally, you can pop up, pop someone in the head, and they're dead. Oh, look, that guy's got 45 as well. I guess that guy's um, either a hacker or he's been hacked. Let's have a look. France. He's hiding his bio and he's hiding his friends. Possible hacker. I don't get tired with a hacker brush. You guys, you've seen it live. I'm not a hacker. I've got food. How about Battlefield Play for Free? I've got a couple of gameplay vids up featuring that game. If you've got it, if you could try it if you've got the time. Ooh, I should do. Tiger Lily sub. Thank you very much, Tiger Lily. Um, uh, anyone else who's watching, uh, if you'd like to sub, please do. I'm always uh, keen on new subscribers. I'm just going to tweet out... I'll do it on here, actually. About hackers.
I, the Jaeger's development have actually retweeted me. Let me tweet them back. Um, just type into the Jaeger dev. Hey guys, running into big hacker issues during my live stream. Instantly leveled to rank 45 and Encountering, oh, I don't know, and speed was off. I don't know. Hey guys, running into big hacker issues during my live stream. Incy le uh, leveled, leveled, leveled. I'm spelt leveled wrong. Up to rank 45. And got. Nine mil Leon XP for one kill. Sad face. I tweeted them. Honest Xbox reviews followed me. Ah, thanks. Honest Xbox reviews. I'm currently sat in a lobby. Uh, if you want to join, I'll try one more match. If it's uh, completely screwed again, then I guess I'm going to have to. Um, I'm gonna have to give up, but uh, please, uh, please do not um, judge the game on on what I've been <laughs> showing you so far on this. Um, hopefully, this hacking problem will go away pretty soon. Um, What's the game behind you, says Tiger Lily. Yeah, it's Spec Ops The Line, uh, which I'm playing now. It's the promo box for it. Um, Pasky Boy, how long has this been live? About an hour. I'm going to end it very soon, uh, I think. Um, sorry about the hackers, Ian. If they ruin the game for a lot of people, hackers have totally killed most of the COD games on the PC. Um, they have kind of ruined it for me. I like levelling up and stuff, and they've just taken away all the joy of me ranking up. I'm... I'm now level 45 without doing anything. Um, I'm not sure if this guy is a hacker or not. Uh, he's level 45 as well, which makes me think either he's a hacker or he's played in a match with a hacker. Uh, I'm not running really fast, so that's a good sign. This is a cool level. Uh, lots of zip lines going everywhere. Uh, lots of cover, places to hide. Um, there's nothing better in a multiplayer game than zip lines to be fair. Um, here you go. There's a big sand trap. That would have killed the shit out of someone. That stunned me because I was stood close to it. I like the sand traps. I was playing against a couple of journalists the other... Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> that got ICU, uh, so I'm guessing that's a sniper perk where you can go invisible, but the person I'm playing with is just stood there not doing anything. So that could be, uh, could be, could be not good. Pasky boy, uh, he's just woke up at like 7am after a long day on COD, ha ha ha. Um, So this person that I'm playing now doesn't seem to be playing, uh, but I'll show you around the levels. There seems to be quite a lot of levels. Um, another good thing about the levels, which I like, is they're very easy to learn. Um, some multiplayer games takes me ages to work out where the fuck I'm going, but this game, uh, they're very easy to learn, but there's lots of hiding places and lots of stuff to do and loads of cool escape routes and stuff. Uh, generally really well designed um, good looking multiplayer maps 
Uh, I'm just going to go down that zip line again, because I can and I like it. So, uh, anyone else watching? Well, we've got 12 people watching now, so let's um, quickly bring myself into vision. I'm not going to not going to do this for much longer. If you would like the chance to win a very large Spec Ops Align t-shirt, I have two to give away. All you need to do is write in the comments, "Gimme." I'll write your name on this sheet of paper. Tear all the names up, put them in this hat and pick two names live, and then I'll contact you on YouTube and I will ask for your address and then I will post these anywhere in the world. To whoever wins them, uh, limited edition E3 Spec Ops Align T-shirts. This is cool. It says the damned 33rd on the first, uh, uh, on, the, on the front, which is good. Lol, I'm a ghost. Says Dean, get your wings. Yeah, that's what that person is. Here we go. Here's another sandstorm. Um, it's a pretty cool addition to the gameplay that you get random sandstorms. Uh, these can happen at any time, um, and they'll. Um, They'll either help or hinder you, depending on how you use them. Um, I was playing on one map earlier where you could hide. Kind of, there was like outside. There was some like little uh, kind of rooms with windows. So there's big sandstorm raging. But I popped inside this room, and I could watch out the windows. All these people like stumbling past, going, "Oh, sand!" They're just picking them off one by one. So that was really cool. Um, there you go. Oh, it's stopped anyway. But I could have hidden in here and then like watched for people walking past with their hands in front of their eyes going oh, me, me, me. Um, and killed them that way. Oh, the mix is in the way again, is it? Oh, no, it's not. What? <laughs> Ian, they haven't been called levels since Painkiller. Mongolian X is mixing. There's a pop up on the screen. Oh shit balls, is there? Sorry guys. I forgot to put myself I forgot to put the game back in. I don't know why the mixer keeps coming in either. Screw off mixer. Well this live stream has definitely proven It's live and that crazy things can happen. <laughs> Gameplay switch, Ian. Ash is on home, yeah. Sorry. Oh, dear me. Okay. Crags123 and Pasky Boy have both said, Gimme! So I'm adding their names to the competition thing. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. I'm so lame today. Here we go. You're not showing gameplay, haha, says Pesky Boy. No, it's just a <laughs> big shot of my face while I was uh, enjoying the game. Apologies. That's really thrown me. Um, the hacker thing. Crags, one, two, three. Crags, one, two, three. Uh, Pesky Boy. Anyone who doesn't know what's going on at the moment is I'm writing down people's names who've written Gimme here. Write that. Write in the comments, I'll add you into the competition, which I'm going to be drawing in the next two minutes. I'll draw for the competition and then close this live stream and go and have a little cry about the fact that hackers have ruined this game for me. Um, there's another sand trap thing. Changes the layout of the level only slightly, but yeah, it's still cool. So you've heard my my opinions on the single player, and my opinions on the multiplayer is that it's a very good multiplayer, and I've really enjoyed uh, I've really enjoyed playing it uh, so far. Um, so I guess overall review wise, as long as you don't encounter any hackers. Um, I'd say that uh, Spec Ops Align is an excellent game. I got killed! Boo! Finally someone in the map is playing, though. Uh, Spec Ops Align is an excellent game with uh, a great storyline and good graphics and it's fun to play. 
uh, can get a little bit tedious on the single player, but the multiplayer is also very good fun. Uh, and I would definitely, definitely say if you have the money and you want a good game, pick this one up because it is indeed a good game. That is the worst review I've ever done. That's why I don't do my reviews live normally because I can't play and think and speak at the same time. But yeah, I, I, I hope that um, you guys kind of can trust my judgement on this one. Um, if I say a game is good, it's because it's good. Uh, I don't just say games are good. Because I've been paid or anything like that. Um, if I say if if I think a game's crap, I'll let you know. But I'll always try and give a balanced opinion. I'll say the goods and the bads. This is this one is is definitely uh, up there with one of the funnest, uh, best games I've played this year so far. There's one. Oh shit! Fuck! Oh. <laughs> My accuracy was well out then. Challenge completed, revenge. Killing these guys. I think, I'm not sure if you can change the match times. I think the the kind of auto match time is half an hour, but it's first to 25 who wins uh, to win normally. So I don't think once you've got a full lobby, I don't think many matches would uh, last that long. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, well, I should have used my scope then. Uh, right. Let's have a look. Another pop-up. For fuck's sake. I am so sorry, everybody. It's a loose microphone wire, either not plugged in right or broken. Mixer, mixer, mixer. Give me also another pop up. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm really sorry. This st started off as such a good uh, live stream as well, and it's just just degenerated into utter rubbishness. Star Wars Burn 46. Okay, everybody, last chance to write gimme. You've got about 30 seconds to get that comment up if you want to win a t shirt. Star Wars Burn 46. I can only apologise for the sloppiness of the stream. Uh, oh, I do like my guy's Tash. If I can get it round there. I'm playing on my preview monitor now, it's lagging. That's a nice Tash, but I should really exit this game. So my kill death... R I don't think it matters about my kill death ratio now, does it? Now that I'm level 45 after only killing about three people. Um, Tiger Lily says, cool. Mongolian 8 says it's a loose microphone wire, either not plugged in right or broken. Um, Shall I show you what it is? I, d I don't know if it's what it is, but let me show you what it is. Two secs. Come up again, isn't it? Ah. Go away. So what it is, is, is these speakers that I got from E3. Um, I'll, be giving you <laughs> I'll be giving you guys a chance to win some of these. They're um, like kind of, there's Elder Scrolls online on one side, Dishonored on the other. And they like come as kind of flat packed kind of things. Uh, and you kind of you make them yourself. Um, I guess they're a bit cheap and shit. I blame the evil hacker. Says Ashley is my name. Oh, and someone else has entered the competition. KS 
JNBL96 has entered it just in time. That's the last entry I'm going to take into this competition. Uh, KSJ, no, KJSNBL96. Okay. Okay, everybody, so after that live stream that I've just done, what are your guys' opinions? Are you going to pick this game up? Do you think it looks good? Have you played the demo? What do you, what do you think of this game? I'd definitely say buy it. I've had a very good time with that game. Keep me entertained while I'm uh, quickly doing this. Do do do. Okay, getting these names in the hat. Looks good, says KSJB96. And he, Mongolian Ape, is certainly going to get it when the prices drop. Um, I, do you know what? I say it's worth getting it even like new. If you're a bit skint, trade in a couple of games for it. There's not much coming out at the moment, to be fair. And uh, it's definitely. Uh, it surprised me, this game. I didn't think it was going to be amazing. And it's definitely good. And Nolan North, sir. Nolan North. Uh, it's a pretty, pretty dark kind of game to. Ian, but he does a good job and it doesn't take long for you to stop thinking oh that's Nathan Drake he does does get the character pretty good okay so all the names are in the hat Crags123 says it kind of looks like Ghost Recon uh, I guess it looks a bit like Ghost Recon but it doesn't really play anything like Ghost Recon Dean get your wings I've, if I see it and have the spare cash, I would pick it up without hesitating. At the moment, a few more things would take priority. And Star Wars Burn 46 says, I've played a demo, but I don't really think it's worth $60. I'm going to wait until the price drops. Um, and Pasky Boy says, no, I'm just going to hack like a pro and finish the game before I put it in my console. No, don't do that, Pesky Boy. Despite the hackers incident, uh, Ashley's My Name UK says, this looks like a very good game. Uh, get my friends to pick it up. Uh, yeah. I, it, it's a good game. I think it's worth full price because um, there's a lot to it and it's fun multiplayer and if you can get your friends playing it as well then uh, even better. Get some people online that you know. It's, it's a fun, fun multiplayer. It's very simple but um, yeah, I don't know. I enjoyed it. Uh, so here we go. I'm going to pick the... Sorry, hit the mic. I'm going to pick the first winner of the first t-shirt out of the hat. I've given it a good shaking. So, first winner is... Are you going to do a review of Transformers Fall of Cybertron or a Let's Play? Says KGB Ban 96. Uh, if I get it early, um, I think I will, yes. Okay. So, the first winner, oh my god, he's lucky, is Pasky Boy. <laughs> he's, won a, he's won a competition before. I just posted him a Max Payne book. Uh, he has won a t shirt. Congratulations, Pasky Boy. I don't need to contact you because I already know your address. That wasn't fixed, by the way. He's just, uh, he's just luckily I, one of only six people who entered a competition. So well done, Pasky boy. Hope you enjoy your massive T-shirt. Hopefully, let's see if I can pick someone who hasn't won already. Nope, I didn't manage to pick someone who hasn't won a competition already. Dean, get your wings. You are a uh, the winner of the other T-shirt. So congratulations, guys, um, and uh, commiserations to anyone else who entered. Um, the other names are still here. Um, yeah, apologies, but uh, this. Sh channel always has competitions going and I try and do as many live streams as possible um, I've got lots of lots more opportunities oh, look, there's a little mouse. Uh, lots more opportunities 
for you guys to win stuff. So please uh, subscribe if you haven't uh, already. Pasky Voice just a pro hacker. Um, and that I know where you live thing was a tad weird. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry. I do know where you live though. I just posted... Pasky Boy won a, uh, my Max Payne 3 guidebook competition, so I, I literally wrote his address down and posted in my book the other day. Um, Ash is my name, um, has got a sad face. And Dean, get your wings. Uh, Marlon Galeon 8, yeah, you were the first person. He says, did I enter? I did write. Yes, you did. You were the first person to enter. And your name was in the hat, but unfortunately, Lady Luck really seems to like Dean, get your wings and Ashley and Pasky Boy at the moment. Uh, Dean Get Your Wings has won a couple of competitions now, I think. Um, KG Bancers, congratulations, Pasky Boy. Uh, yeah, congratulations to both you guys. Um, if you've not subscribed to this channel, please do subscribe. Like I said, do lots of live streams. Um, I'm a games journalist. Um, just just do this channel. It used to be on TV, but uh, it's not anymore, so I carry on doing this now. So I get a lot of games early. I get a lot of exclusive interviews and stuff, so, um, you know, uh, I, I think that there's a lot of good stuff to subscribe to this channel for. So if you haven't subscribed, if you're a new, new viewer, please subscribe. Uh, lots of exclusive E3 interviews coming up, uh, lots more competitions coming up, and as I get them, uh, review promos and stuff I'll be doing early like before release live streams just like this one uh, for other games I don't know what yet but there will be so uh, there'll be more coming and um, uh, I'll be doing live streams on other things that haven't been released I want to do more Minecraft ones um, I want uh, Minecraft Xbox 360 ones and I want to do another Trials Evolution live stream and I'm hoping uh, uh, maybe a community live stream at some point which will uh, um, I'll try and get as many people uh, of you guys viewing to play at the same time as me on some games, maybe some Call of Duty or something. Um, Crags one two three hasn't won any competitions yet. Oh, I'll try and I'll try and make a competition where loads of people can win something. Um, and KG Band says I'm certainly going to try and tune into the Let's Plays lives more often. Yeah, I like Let's Play lives. I've done some Let's Plays that aren't live, and um, they're all good and stuff. They're more polished, and they don't have me going um loads, and they don't have weird hackers and stupid PC pop-ups. But these ones I get to chat to you guys, so they're really cool. Um, oh, and yeah, Pasky Boy says also like the. Facebook page of Platform 32. Yes, if you have uh, Facebook, please like the Platform 32 Facebook page because uh, I uh, I do loads of other stuff on there um, and also announce winners to competitions on there and stuff. Um, Tiger Lily says add me. I don't know what that means. Add you on what? Uh, but yes, have a little subscribe and if you can. Sorry, I trailed off there reading uh, people's comments. So that's it. That's it. I'm going to go now. Um, I've got to go and uh, I'm gonna go and get a haircut. My uh, my little mohawky queef's getting a bit too... Queef? <laughs> my little mohawky queef. <laughs> queef is getting too big. Um, no queefs around here, please. Uh... Follow me on Facebook, the Platform32 on Facebook. Um, follow me on Twitter, follow Platform32 on Twitter. Um, Spec Ops Align gets a big thumbs up from me. Very good game. Um, buy it if you can, if you've got the money, definitely buy it. If you don't have the money, at least download the demo and give it a try because, as far as I'm concerned, it's well good. Ian, what is the worst games you played? Didn't get your wing. Um, I think I wrote that on Facebook um, earlier. Uh, off the top of my head, Turning Point was one. Truth or Lies was another pretty bad one. Um, yeah, there's so I've played so many bad games. But yes. Anyway, that was me. Oh, these in the glasses. In the background, it's because it's Spec Ops the line. 
and these are my specs. Do you get it? Ha ha ha. So yes, I was Spec Ops the line. It's a good game. You should buy it. Thank you very much for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe. Like me. Does my ego loads of good. Bye. Thanks for watching. Bye. Love you all. Bye. Bye. I'm going to press the buttons here. Let's press that one and see if that stops it. Press. And...